example. I 3D printed a practice chanter, and today we're going to test to see how it sounds. Now, I'm really, really bad at the sharp flat game, um, so today will be a good test of my my ear. Um, so this is my my standard. It's actually a, a long uh, plastic practice chanter that I got from Jay Higgins. Um, I believe it's believe that it's made by McCallum specifically for Higgins, um, the Jay Higgins group here in Kansas City. Um, and this is what I normally practice with. Um, it's got the white reed. I'm not sure what brand it is, but that's the, the reed that it came with. Um, and so I'll play it really quickly just to kind of give it a give it a sound here. So not too bad. Um, sounds mostly in tune, maybe a little sharp on the high hand. Um, again, I'm, I'm terrible. My, my ear's not, not great at that, but I can tell it's maybe a tiny bit off on the high hand, but not, not much. Um, so if we take that same reed out of my Higgins chanter and put it into this 3D printed chanter and give it a blow, we'll see how it sounds. It's already already cutting off um, when I come high hand to low hand, which isn't a, a great sign. So this probably isn't an ideal read uh, for this chanter, but. sounds um, maybe sharper overall to start with um, but the the low hand notes um, kind of B C and D sounded a lot flatter um, compared to the low A so those sound a little flat to me well, when you go to the high hand E maybe is okay F and G sounded sharp, and A maybe flat again. So again, it's low A. Um, the burls are a little not as good. Um, the holes might not be great for that. Um, wouldn't say it was terrible, but. Um, I like the Higgins much better, uh, so we will try uh, another reed. This is kind of another standard practice chanter reed. It's a red reed. I'm, again, I'm not sure of the brand. I apologize. I'm sure somebody out there may know. Um, so we'll give this one a try. <laughs> Um, same this is the white reed didn't like this red reed um, sounded sharper than the um, my standard practice chanter that I use um, again flat in the middle and sharp on the high hand um, and the last reed we're going to check and test here is kind of a longer practice chanter reed this came with my um, what is this a Sinclair and Sons 
practice chanter that I use occasionally just for fun. Um, but these are the reeds that came with it. Um, so we'll sink one of those in there and see how it sounds. Um, that one, tone-wise, sounded a little closer. Um, it wasn't, um, these, these two reeds sounded a lot sharper in the 3D printed chanter than they did in my um, regular practice chanter. Um, but this long reed, which is flatter, um, did sound flatter in this chanter. Um, sounded closer to uh, my regular practice chanter reed, but um, the the notes, none of them sounded right. They were all seemed very very flat to me, um, except for maybe the F G and high A um, sounded really sharp. Um, so the low G, the low G on all of them, I think were sharp, and then flat on the low hand and sharp on the high hand. So overall, um, if you do use a 3D printed practice chanter. Um, I got the design for this off of Thingiverse. It's one of the free um, downloadable practice chanter um, designs that are on Thingiverse. Printed it on my Ender 3 Pro. Um, it's in three pieces for the chanter portion that you just glue together. So one, two, three here. And then the air column of the upper portion and the mouthpiece are two pieces as well that you glue together. So these three glued together, these two glued together, and then I just hemped here in between. Um, but again, the um, the low G sounded sharp, the low hand sounded flat, and then the high hand again was sharp. So um, if this is all you have, if you have a 3D printer and you're looking to get into bagpiping and you print your own practice chanter, this is at um, 0.2 millimeter spacing. The quality is just standard quality for that printer. And I did about 35% on the infill to give it some sort of solidity, um, maybe doing it at 40% um, or a higher infill rate might um, change the, the tonality of it a little bit but as it is um, this would be a good I uh, don't want to say good this would be a, a, an okay chanter I think if you're um, you know if you can't afford the you know 60 90 100 bucks for a practice chanter or if you you know not 100% sure that you really want to get into it you never start with a full set of bagpipes you always start on a practice chanter um, whichever kind of practice chanter you get it doesn't matter because you just use these to learn the fingering and learn the tunes. Um, but again, if this is if this is all you can get a hold of, um, it didn't take much filament. Um, maybe took 15 hours to print. Um, you could probably speed that up a little bit. But um, again, playing by yourself. Um, which I don't recommend teaching yourself because bagpipes are a very tricky instrument. Um, but if you do have an instructor and you're going over Skype um, or something like that, then I think using this chanter would be fine um, just to get you started. If you're playing by yourself, um, it's going to be a little flat on the low hand, a little high, sharp on the high hand, but playing by yourself um, and you're just learning, it will get you what you need. Um, but if you're playing with other pipers, with other chanters, um, you definitely want to invest in something made by the pros. Thanks.